So diabetes is a, is a complex medical condition and part of the complexity is that not only do you have to take medicines to help manage it, but there's a lot involved in monitoring your glucose levels. And one of the ways we monitor our sugar levels is that people are familiar with is the finger prick and we use a meter. Um, but now some of the newer technologies are that we have these sensors and these are devices that can measure your blood sugar all day and all night long. And then we also have um, a technology called insulin pumps which can deliver insulin. And the problem is that those two technologies, even though they're great, they never really communicated with one another in a meaningful way. Um, the sensor was always telling you what your sugar was, the pump was delivering insulin, but the person was still kind of the, the computer in the middle trying to figure out, um, you know, based on the sugar, how much insulin should be delivered. Now our pancreas has a glucose sensor, and so when our glucose goes up, our pancreas makes more insulin. When the glucose goes down, the pancreas makes less insulin. So the thought was, wouldn't it be great if the sensor and pump could actually communicate and the pump could actually see what the glucose is doing, what the sugars are doing, and when the sugar goes up, give more insulin, when the sugar goes down, give less insulin, basically be an artificial pancreas. And that's kind of what we've been struggling or trying to, trying to reach for for many, many years. And so the great news is now there are systems out there that, that do just that. And this whole system together is called this closed loop system or the artificial pancreas. So we have pumps and sensors that talk to each other and then the pump will adjust the insulin rate based on what the blood sugar is doing. And this has just led to just tremendous gains in terms of um, how people are doing with their diabetes control. It takes people that have very low and very high blood sugars throughout the day and really um, evens them out. A lot of people can be candidates for this technology. Um, we mostly are using it in patients with type 1 diabetes right now just because they tend to have the most fluctuation in their blood sugars. but People with type 2 diabetes who also have a lot of um, variability in their blood sugar are definitely candidates as well. And, um, and I think as time goes on, we'll see more and more people uh, using this technology just because of the benefits. Yeah, I think this technology, we've been thinking about it and we've been reading about it and we've been hearing about it for many, many years and it's really amazing that, um, that it's here. And so just with a lot of our patients now that have, have used this technology, I mean, sometimes it's just, profound and just unbelievable how much better they're doing. Their hemoglobin A1C levels are much better, their, you know, their sugar levels are much better, they feel much better, and it really gives them a lot of confidence that, you know, again, diabetes requires a lot of not just medication but monitoring, but now it's a little bit more hands-off because the monitoring and the insulin delivery are being done in the background um, and you can just go about your daily business and not have to always let diabetes be the thing that you're thinking about. Let, you know, let these devices take care of it. So I think it's just been you know, a huge benefit for patients in terms of what they can do and, and just the freedom it gives them uh, in everyday living.